Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. There's Holman Scott Selections here for Thursday, September 21st. For in today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in Champions League Soccer with Braga and Napoli, both teams to score at minus 130 on Caesars. Napoli scored in the first half. Braga scored in the 84th minute, and then Napoli scored again for fun, an own goal in the 88th minute. So the game ended 2-1. to one. Nice winner for us from the winner here on Thursday. And for today's play of the day, going to look at some football. There's a Thursday night game between the uh, Giants and the Niners taking place at around 8.15 p.m. Eastern time. And for this one, going to take a player prop. We're going to go with 49ers kicker Jake Moody over one and a half field goals at plus 100 on bet MGM. Time recording at 3.30 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings why we're going to take Jake Moody over one and a half field goals in this matchup. First reason the Niners offense has been very good this season and very consistent as the Niners have scored 30 points in each of the first two games this season. While the Giants defense has been really bad, Giants give up 40 points in week one to the Cowboys and give up 28 points to the Cardinals, who have one of the worst offenses in the league. So once again, I do think the Niners should be able to score a decent amount of points in this game. But Moody's been very solid so far this season when it comes to making field goals, as he has recorded three field goals in each of the first two games. And the Giants have not been good at stopping field goals, as the Giants have allowed at least two made field goals in each of the first two games this season. Now, last season, the Niners did attempt a bunch of field goals, particularly at home, as last season, the Niners attempted 2.6 field goals per home game, which was tied for the second most in the league. And in the past 19 regular season games, the Giants are allowing 2.4 field goal attempts per game. But a lot of people expect the Niners to dominate in this game. They are favored by 10 and a half. And I do think, once again, the Niners should be able to score close to 30 points in this game. But the Giants' red zone defense has actually been okay so far, the season has not been totally awful, and I do think the Niners might end up getting a bit conservative if they go ahead, uh, and they might end up settling for some field goals in the red zone. You might also see the Giants potentially turn the ball over in their own territory. As we know, they can't exactly protect Daniel Jones, missing a couple offensive linemen, and you have Saquon Barkley not playing. So I do think, once again, the Niners might be able to take over some possessions in plus territory, which should result in short fields for potential field goals. But one and a half field goals at even money, when he's made three plus in each of the first two games this season. Simply put, it's just a crazy line to me. I think Moody one and a half should be closer to minus 125, minus 130. It's going to be outdoors in San Francisco, but the weather is not going to be a factor in this game. But I think Moody, once again, has been very solid so far this season. The Giants' defense is a mess. And with the Niners scoring 30 points in each of the first two games, I do have faith in this overall offense. Now, Ayuk might not play in this game, so the Niners' passing attack might be a bit weaker than usual, but I do think the Niners will eventually get two field goal attempts in this game, at, at minimum, and I do think that Moody will make both. So once again, the play of the day here for Thursday is going to be on Jake Moody over one and a half made field goals at plus 100 on BetMGM. Bye, everyone.